Hey guys, welcome to Squirrel's Hot Shot Adventure. I'm David, AKA Squirrel. Um, <clears throat> I guess, um, kind of give you a background on myself. Uh, back in 2012, um, made a challenge to myself to uh, get my CDLs. Um, no particular reason why. Uh, <clears throat> Kind of worked out uh, one of the positions I held at the time as a purchase planner. I actually uh, was over there transportation. We mostly run box trucks, but I uh, stumbled across uh, several van trailers over at one of our other facilities. Um, and uh, I just asked the boss why we didn't have a tractor, and uh, she said, Buy one. And I did. I hired a CDL driver, and um, when he was out or something came up or he was running a box truck, I would use um, the tractor and, and run the van trailer. But anyway, that's where it kind of all started. Um, and then I had an opportunity to drive with a local company uh, that was uh, starting up, uh, running flatbed, uh, running a, a 99 Peak. Um, and I enjoyed it, <clears throat> had a good time, uh, learned a lot. Um, and then um, I hung out there for about a year and um, there was another local company that had been in business since uh, 46, um, third generation running it. Um, I had about 85, 90, um, I call them dump buggies, um, but these are the 40 foot long end dumps. and. Um, I'll show you a video of one, but I, I worked for them for almost three years. <coughs> Excuse me, but uh, I'm not getting any younger, and uh, I figured I I have a little bit of capital to get started. Um, I already got a truck. Um, just need to buy a trailer and get some commercial insurance. So here we are. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to give you uh, an overview of the truck and the trailer um, and why I chose this setup. Um, pretty much the reason I chose this setup, uh, it's a uh, three quarter ton Dodge Ram, which I already had the truck uh, to tow my camper with. I got a, a 34 footer um, to pull the camper. Um, so, I bought a Kaufman because they're 30 minutes up the road from me and get all the parts I need, warranty work or whatever. Um, I looked at all the other manufacturers and um, you know they all have standards they have to meet. Some are you know more well built than others, <clears throat> but um, I've known a couple friends that um, have had Kaufman's. You can actually see one of my other videos on the uh, Hot Shot Trailer uh, Resto. Um, he's had, that's a 2000 model trailer. Um, and then uh, there's a friend of ours, a long time friend, Butch. He's got a two car flat gooseneck Kaufman. He's had it for 10 years or so, uh, no problems. So that kind of helped me out with that decision. And I watch other guys' videos. Um, see what they got but nothing man-made is not going to come without a flaw somewhere so you know it's uh just roll the dice like you're in vegas baby just go with it um but i i chose the non-cdl setup <clears throat> because i already had the truck i went with a 35 foot trailer because um there's a couple guys on there saying you can make money with a, a 30 footer um, up to a 40 footer so I just chose something in the middle I went with a uh, 30 foot deck and a flat foot dove with uh, fold up ramps and a pop up center um, went with that um, that kind of puts me in the middle um, maybe limited on some stuff I didn't go with the air ride I'm not um, just wasn't ready to spend that kind of money I gotta dip my toes in it first, kind of see how this is gonna work out. Push come to shove, you commercial, you cancel the commercial insurance and you got a $160 trailer payment until I could flip it. So uh, not going in deep in debt, 
and I already had the truck payment, so it's not a big deal. I mean, I'd have that whether I was doing this or not. Um, <clears throat> so that's why I went with that. Um, would I be interested in stepping up to a dually uh, with a, uh, a dual wheel tandem trailer, 40 foot long? Absolutely. Um, but I'm not going to jump in both feet um, wide open that way um, and, and rack up any debt. Uh, but I will say, uh, just watching other um, YouTubers, and um, I'll send a shout out to them uh, later on in some videos. The the rental through uh, Enterprise is the way to go. And <clears throat> this truck here only has, uh, it's a 2012 Ram 2500. I bought it about a year and a half ago. Uh, I had 96,000 miles on it, virgin truck. Um, no ball in the bed, nothing. I installed a BMW um, <clears throat> turnover ball in the bed, uh, but it has 107, getting ready to roll over 108,000 miles. Um, I'll show you that when we get ready to do the walk around. Uh, I don't want to put a lot of miles on this truck if I don't have to. Um, I've always, you know, I kind of like all brands of trucks, you know, uh, whether it be Ford, Chevy, or Dodge, but. Uh, now I've had some um, Dodges before, um, never a Cummins, but I really like the truck. It's an ST model, so nothing, no frills or anything like that. It's the way I like it, just give me my AC, my power locks and windows and a rubber mat and I'm good to go. Uh, and some four wheel drive. Um, first diesel I owned was an F250 um, with the 6.0. I never had any trouble out of that truck. Never had head problems um, or anything. And I pulled a two-car wedge with it uh, back when I had my dealer's license. Um, but, um, yeah, I never had any problem out of that. Um, I had that truck almost five years. Uh, bought it with 65000 on it. I think I sold it with 98000 on it. So, no problems there. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much my setup. And... Um, Anyway, I'll just kind of give you a walk around um, and um, so you kind of see what I'm working with. And um, I'll kind of do an end cab here in just a second uh, so you'll see what, what I'm dealing with there. Um, I'm kind of OCD about stuff. I just like all my stuff in a certain order. So, but anyway, it'll get messy. Uh, but you can see there, she's got 107,000 on the miles. Um, and uh, like I say, I bought her around 96,000. Uh, I got my uh, Keep Truck and ELD up top. Um, got my Garmin, it's the 770, uh, which I've been you know, running semis, so you always gotta have that. Got my headset for hands-free driving. Uh, got my Cobra down there. Um, I've always, since I've been driving, I've had a CB and I just can't see life without it if you're going to be on the road. It, it really, it really makes a difference. Um, sometimes you can uh, learn about traffic situations before uh, you come up on them and you can make a, a good decision to, to get around that. Uh, a lot of them boys, they run them jam radios, you know, they only turn them on when they're in a jam. Mine's always on. So if you see your old, uh, see squirrel out on the road you give him a shout uh that's uh, handle my uh, my eld there um <clears throat> got some stuff just so i can keep you know close close by as far as hands-on so i'm not doing a lot of stuff while i'm driving got me a printer back there just in case i need it computers at the house got the bed made up back there thanks to my wife she she loves the color code thing so uh matches the interior of the truck so but anyway we're going to get out and do a walk around and uh see you in a bit all right ladies and gentlemen there she is <clears throat> it's my uh 2012 ram 2500 pre-def uh pretty much showed you what's going on on the inside there but uh have my lettering and stuff on there but yeah got me some nabs and stuff down there hard hat safety vest bed made up there 
that printer she'll go up on the uh, console when I'm my six foot two 240 pound self gets all cramped back here in the back but uh um <clears throat> that was a sticker a buddy of mine old uh old wolf man we all got cb handles that drive trucks but old wolf man uh i've known him for a long time but he got me that for uh i think it was for my birthday or something but uh now i'm just gonna have to take the is out and put was so but anyway um my dad uh he passed away in 13 but um i'm trying to save a little bit of money i i used one of his old toolboxes i just mounted that on um those six by sixes and then uh, uh come up from under the bed there and screwed them to the bottom i just want to make sure i left me enough room so if i wanted to you know run some dunnage in there um i could do that if i didn't want to keep it on the trailer got my fire extinguisher mounted back there um like i say i got the b and w ball there um the, uh, now this trailer um, it was a 17k trailer and i had them d-rated to 16 so uh with my <coughs> truck and trailer there at uh at 25.6 I guess uh, but, uh, combined uh, but um, yeah the only thing I really opted for on this was um, the dual two speed jacks um, and then we'll show you the ramp setup back there in the back and um, I did get the uh, the ratchet rail down the side just used to big rig flatbed so uh i just like to do it that way but uh <clears throat> but anyway i'll kind of show you what i got in here um got a <clears throat> i think i got like 40 of those 31 inch straps uh, another youtuber said you know those are about the best length to uh, use got four chains four binders i uh, got the four inch wide ratchets <clears throat> got two of those um and then I got 10 of the 2 inch. Um, I got my breaker bar there. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff up the toolbox up front. Um, then uh, I got the, um, from my T products, I got the, um, what's that, the 20 by 24s? Um, no flap uh, with the. Uh, heater and d-rings on all four sides so i can use them as six or eight foot tarps so uh that was a really good idea um but uh but yeah like i say i ordered it with uh with the ratchets uh down the side <clears throat> but whenever i got it um whenever i went and picked it up seven weeks later um i wanted one here between um, the tire and wheel um you know just mounted up and it doesn't slide uh which it wasn't there and then this back here on the back wasn't there um so um we actually me and my buddy randy we took that board off i ordered it i actually ordered the the channel from uh, my t products because it came with eight <clears throat> ratchets um so we welded that piece in there and then um a friend of mine patrick uh, he dates my uh, my niece. He actually works at a local quarry, and uh, they had some old um, um, conveyor belt. Uh, that's what I made my mud flaps out of. So I really don't think they're <laughs> they'll probably outlast the trailer. So uh, yeah, we 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 took care of that. <clears throat> and then what I did on the um, the uh, ramps back here. <clears throat> was I know Rocket Ship um, had a problem where he'd bought his trailer and one of the ramps, he had hit some road construction or something, one of the ramps flipped up. So I know some guys strap them down, but I don't want to have to take a, ramp, a strap on and off, especially if I'm gonna have something back here. So um, I welded this, <clears throat> I mean, not welded, but uh, drilled a hole here and run that through. So um, basically the, the pop-up center will, will keep this down. Um, <clears throat> and then we uh, drilled a hole there on the side. Um, it's all got uh, LED lights on it, so uh, 
but then what we did is I, I bought this uh, <clears throat> uh, 3 8 thick, uh, 2 inch wide flat bar here and uh, drilled a couple holes um, so I can keep those held up just in case I got a couple vehicles on there or something, run that through the side. So that's why one's up and one's down, so I can kind of show you that. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much the equipment there. Um, <clears throat> I think it will serve its purpose. Um, I'm not trying to look to get rich um, doing this. I'm just trying to make a living. But, um, you know, I'll kind of go over uh, in a later video um pretty much what my startup cost was um for this this whole setup um get my authority um insurance the uh the whole nine yards there um <clears throat> so uh and you know how i got the business set up and stuff like that what load boards i used but anyway if y'all want to drop a comment down below um I'll do my best to answer it but um but like I say, uh, today is uh, 519 and uh, tomorrow is 520, which will be uh, first day booking a load. Uh, do not have a dispatcher. Uh, I was going to go with one. Uh, thought I had one set up. That kind of fell through, so uh, no big deal there. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, no big rush, but... Uh, I might I might go with one or I might just do it myself. So, uh, but anyway, uh, stay safe out there, guys. And until the next video, um, we'll see you on the road.